Now that we've designed a few basic tools in SOLIDWORKS, it's time to design a bit more complex model. The chapter 6 of this series is about designing a brushless DC motor for a quadcopter, something very similar to what is visible on the screen. The quadcopter is a bigger project and has many parts, but even this brushless DC motor has many parts. We will design these parts separately, and then we'll also learn how to assemble them. These videos will not only help you to become proficient in SOLIDWORKS, but will also help you understand how a brushless DC motor works. So this series has a lot of teaching value. Please note that the functioning of a brushless DC motor will be described in Mechatronic series. Please watch this series when it becomes available on the site or on YouTube. However, the main components of a brushless DC motor are shown here. Main components are a rotor, a stator, a shaft, and two bearings as visible on the screen. The stator has many coils as you can see. We'll design all these components separately, so the series will require many videos. Let's start making the rotor first. Go to File, New, Part, OK. Right mouse click on the right plane, Sketch, and draw a few lines starting from the origin point. Left click, vertically up, left click, horizontally towards the left side, diagonally down, left click, vertical line down, left click, a horizontal line towards the right, left click, vertically up, left click, diagonally up, try to be parallel with this line, left click, a horizontal line towards the right, left click, vertical line down, left click, a horizontal line towards the right, and left click to close the sketch. Right mouse click, smart dimension, distance from this point to this point is 22.9 millimeters. This line is 8.5 millimeters. Overall length from this point to this point is 17 millimeters. This length is 11.9 millimeters. This line is 6 millimeters. The distance from this point to this point is 5.6 millimeters. The length of this line is 1.2 millimeters. Distance between these two lines is 2 millimeters. And the length of this line is 7 millimeters. The sketch is now fully defined. All lines are black. Create a circle on this line. Right mouse click, smart dimension, click on this point and press shift on your keyboard and click on this circle. This is how you measure the distance from this point to the edge of the circle. This distance should be 0.7 millimeters. If you do not press shift, you'll measure the distance from the center of the circle to this point, which we do not want in this case. The diameter for this circle is one millimeter. Click OK, trim entities, and remove these lines. OK, select sketch fillet, fillet parameter, 0 0.5 millimeters, and click on this point and this point and on this point, and this point. Click OK. Exit out of the sketch, and this is sketch one. Make sure the sketch one is selected. Go to Features, Revolved Boss, Base, for Axis of Revolution, click on this line, click OK. So this 3D object has been created, which is going to be rotor. Press control five to see the top view. Click on this surface, sketch, line and center line. Click on the origin point, go up. Hope you can see this yellow square. Click on it, right mouse click and chain. Actually exit, select point, and create a point somewhere here. Click OK. 
smart dimension, the distance between this point and this point should be nine millimeters. Click OK, select ellipse, click on this line and on this point, and then click somewhere here. OK. Remove this relationship if it is there. Click and press delete button on your keyboard. Smart dimension. The distance between this point and this point should be 13 millimeters. And the distance between this point and this point should be 30 millimeters. Click OK. Exit. This is sketch two. Select sketch two. Go to features. Extruded cut. Type in 5.6 here. Click OK. Let's apply some chamfer. One millimeter, 45 degrees. Click here and here and here. OK. Press Control 5 to go to top view. Click on this arrow below linear pattern. Select circular pattern. Click here and select chamfer and cut extrude one, chamfer and cut. Extrude one is selected for direction. Select this circle and we're making six copies. Click OK. We're getting there. Control five again to go to top view. Click on this surface. We will make another sketch. Click sketch, select center line, click on origin point, go up, and find the middle of this arc here, which is the small yellow square with two diagonal lines. Click on it, right mouse click, and chain, and create another center line. Click on origin point, and find the middle of this arc. Left click, right mouse click, smart dimension, the angle between these two lines should already be 30 degrees. Okay. Select point. Create a point on this line. Right mouse click. Smart dimension. The distance from this point to this point should be 9 millimeters. Okay. Create a circle on this point. Click and drag. Right mouse click. The diameter of this circle should be 2.5. Click OK. Click on this circle. Go to Linear Sketch Pattern. Click on Drop Down. Select Circular Sketch Pattern. And we want to make six copies. Click OK. Now all these circles are part of Sketch 3. Exit. Select sketch three, go to features, extruded cut, through all or through all both, click OK. Control five again, select this surface, sketch, circle, create a circle from the origin point, right mouse click, Smart dimension. Diameter of this circle should be four millimeters. Exit. This is sketch four. Select sketch four. Extruded cut. Through all both. Okay. So we have created the basic shape of the rotor. We'll find this shape in the next video and we'll also create permanent magnets.